<laughs> All right. So here we have, these are what's called ESP cards. Um, they, uh, there's five of them. If you notice that there are different symbols in there, and each of the symbols have a meaning, uh, and they count as a number. So for instance, the number one would be the zero, because it's only one line going around. Okay? The number two would be the plus sign, okay, two lines. Three, the wavy lines. Four is a square. And five is a star with the five points. Okay? Now, as you can see, we have matching uh, signs here. If you'll see on this side, Sarah, we have the same cards, and we have numbered one, two, three, four, five. We have blue cards and we have red cards. Okay? So in a moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to have your mind and mine match into one. And we're going to see if we can do a little bit of a miracle here. Okay, you ready for it? Don't get nervous. All right? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back here. And you stand here and just look good. Make my act look good, okay? Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take these cards. I'm going to give them to you. Okay? And we'll have the same matching cards on this side. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to shuffle the cards. Just keep them face down. And for this, for these purposes, what you'll do is you'll keep the cards face down. You won't show them to me. You won't look at them yourself. And we won't show them. Okay? Now, what's your favorite color, Sarah? Red. Okay. Now, do you want to hold the red or you want the, black, uh, the blue back there? You keep those. You sure? You're positive. Don't want to change your mind. You sure? Because after we start, you say, oh, what would have happened if I changed my mind? So it'll be too late. You'll keep those. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, sir, is I'm going to take my cards and I'm going to place them on this side here without the numbers. And in order that I believe that you'll put yours later on when we get to you. Okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to manipulate your mind with the mind and see if we can do this, okay? You won't fail me. You won't fail me. My wife has failed me. No. no. Oh! <laughs> See, I can do... Uh, no wonder she will, doesn't show up. You will edit this, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have money, Daddy. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take a card. Okay. Uh, this one here. Okay, concentrate. We're going to place this one here. Not this one. Okay, here. Okay, you don't, you don't want it there. Okay. Put that here. Is this one here? Okay. All right, so I just placed the cards in, in order that you and I agree to mentally. Now what I want you to do is shuffle those cards and keep it down. You can shuffle them anyway. Don't don't feel don't worry about how it is. Don't worry that these magicians know how to shuffle. They don't. I can tell you because I'm one of them. Okay. And what I want you to do is I want you to hold them down, kind of put it down so they, they can't see underneath. And I want you to give me a card. Now it doesn't have to be from the top, it doesn't have to be right. It could be so don't feel uh, that you have to take it from the top. Any way you want, keep it face down and give it to me face down. Okay? Now we have five spots. Tell me, so that I can hear and they can hear, which spot you want me to place the card in. Put it in number three. Okay. Again, any card, top, bottom, middle, doesn't matter. Don't look at it, keep it face down. Okay. What number do you want to place it in? Two? Okay, again, keep your face down. This one's five. Okay, next one. And the top. Okay, 
in the bottom, and the last one, the last space. Okay, just quickly, uh, Sarah, you had a free choice. We had uh, 10 parts, five of each, five USB parts, they all matched. They matched each other, rather. It was a blue deck and a red deck, and you selected the red deck. You didn't want to change your mind, you wanted to keep the red deck, so we worked with that. I took uh, my cards and I placed them in an order that after you and I were going back and forth <coughs> mentally, I put them in an order that I believe that we were going to agree on. You next took your cards and you shuffled them, and you gave them to me one by one, random, in any order, and you told me where to place them. Correct? Now, if they matched, one out of, uh, out of, if one of them matched, it would be pretty good. Right? If two, it could still be a coincidence. Three, not just so that, uh, that it could be possible. However, Sarah, if all the cards. Whoa! Yeah. She said bingo, she's stealing your.